listen more. Hi, my name is j a n t i r a n a m o n g and I am a boudoir photographer from Thailand. Me and my boudoir photography episode one from the last week. It was all about where is a boudoir photography coming from and a history since World War II. I also talk about how I fell in love with a boudoir photography and how I started into business as a boudoir photographer. You guys can check it out from the last episode. It's called episode one. To talk about how I start my workshops and exhibition show, my photo arts around this week, but I will keep it for next episode. So today is episode two. I will talk about how to get a business woman and a top class social woman became my boudoir clients and get themselves. Wearing a sexy lingerie, have her feeling sexy, or even get naked standing in front of my camera with her own comfortable and confident. <laughs> Some are uh, contact me from her boyfriends or her husband. That want to book my sessions for his woman to surprise himself, <laughs> right? Oh well, that work very really well though. All right, after I have got her contact, what I do is I send her some of my photographs I took before. In a different style from my portfolio, I show her some poses, outfits, and the way to do makeup and hairstyle, and some photo with props, for example, a flowers, a vintage lingerie, a pearls necklace, many things that everything can be a props to make it fun, and she might like it. Also, I suggest her to look around on social media platform like Pinterest and Instagram, or even on Facebook. Look into a boudoir photography, or a sexy woman, or a lingerie models, or even a nude art photography. Even from the other photographer that she can look up, she might find something that she like and. She dream to have that kind of photo, so she can just show me what she really wanted to. I most of the time look up the profile of my clients on social media. What she, what is she look like? Or if she is not on social media, then I ask her to send me some of her self photo by selfie or from the phone or whatever. That I can see her, so I can know what she look like and her body look like and what her character is would be. Right? To have an idea that I can suggest her to do to create something that suit her. Anyway, the photos doesn't just hundred percent, but it is hundred percent every time that I suggest. What the style might suit her, and might make she look different, and make she feel more excited to see herself in that way. So they love it and always agree with me. Next, it's about outfits. A white long sleeve shirt. Is a good choice. It can be her own, or it makes more romantic if she can took her boyfriend or a husband one. Of course, 
no bra but with a sexy panties on <laughs> sitting on the bed or on the white sofa this would be nice with the white long sleeve shirt huh it sounds very basic right but the photo always come out great I always start with it from the first few shots and then we can change to lingeries can be black white or red color with cutter belt stocking and a sexy high heels then we start to fill in some props that I have it with me that I prepare it. Sometimes I bring it with me for the backup for the models if they, they couldn't fight anywhere. Right? Uh, what she already brought from for the stations. So we use those stuff just to make more varieties and fun. So some fun props make the station more exciting with occasion too for example i have used a red ribbon wrap about a uh, wrap around her make like a bow for a new year gift <laughs> i used roses on her body for a valentine <laughs> valentine days so i used costume too like a sexy nurse a sexy bunny, a schoolgirl, a sexy Halloween, or a superhero woman. <laughs> and one more props. This one, super excited for a kinky. <laughs> People like I use the ropes, tie them wrap around her arms, her legs, or even her body. And really, seriously, some clients loved it so much. And even want to do it more and more. Always come back every time. <laughs> and I'm surprised, but well, anyway, it's my business. So I do whatever, my clients loves it. <laughs> and actually, the photos come out more artistic. Then a normal sweet props. It depends from your clients too. We are in business, so whatever make them feel confident and happy, I will make it happen. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about makeup and hair. The most sexiest makeup for me is a really light looking with smoky eyes. Smoky eyes to me is pretty sexy with long eyelashes but not a thick one a light one will be best because of the long eyelashes make woman face look more sweet i suggest the wear eyes contact lens to have some fantasy color in the eyes but anyway otherwise if they don't like it the natural eye is very good too. The first hour of the chart, we start with nude color lipstick or the light color one. Then later, I have her to change to a very red, sexy one for a change. the hairstyle please don't spray too much to make her hair become hard looking it's not sexy at all unless we do a pin up vintage style a long hair girls she can do a bit of curly but keep it straight or keep it straight but always look soft Sometimes we could get some shots with a soft looking hair on her face It's even feel more romantic, right? For a short hair girls, what I have done to them? Mm. 
I can make her character like a schoolgirl with some student costume or a sexy smart looking sexy um, or a sexy smart looking business woman wearing suit with no bra on <laughs> like a sexy tomboy or I even make like um, sporty sexy girl wearing white tennis, tennis sport outfit with no bra and no panties on <laughs> so crazy is it but it's very sexy or a skateboard girl with a super super shorts <laughs> all right now um, now stocking must every of my stations the important thing is stocking it is very classy lingerie with gutter bell stocking and high heels so I always require clients to get a stocking it's maybe black white or red color whatever but most of the time I shoot with a black color one high heels the one that I feel classy and sexy is the old style looking with the point font not a big platform heels but a high platform one is more comfortable for them to wear I know that anyway they can bring what they like I suggest black white beige or red color I don't mind either if they bring long boots it's up to them but I suggest them to send a photo their outfits what they have to me before the shooting date so I can help them to pick the right one the hotel for the shoot I always choose the room that have a big window in a living room and if if possible also in a bedroom the light shy inside is the best I look from the website that if they have a nice looking sofa color like great a classy cream color or a white with a good style even sometimes with a black color is okay but the style is must be really good with a beautiful bathtub even better we can create a romantic and artistic shots there if some hotel don't have a window in the bathroom I will always prepare my artificial light with me for a dark corner shoot. A high ceiling is must. I like more modern looking building and interior than a wooden style because a wooden style makes the room dark unless I do traditional Thai or Asian theme but it's very rare to shoot that theme in inside the hotel mm. the wall color should be light soft color like white or creams or pentails I have rent black ballroom sometimes also but it's only for nude art or fantasy station not for a classy boudoir sometimes I use a pool rooftop of the, mo of the hotel also and some hotel even have a stair curbs design 
but we have to look always when it's nobody around then we can do a quick sexy shot <laughs> I always inform the I always inform the hotel sometimes but a lot of time me and my confidence clients or our models we just have a sexy runs <laughs> I usually spend a lot of time searching for a nice hotel for each boudoir trip. Sometimes spend like all day or sometimes two days, even three days to get a best hotel I like. Also, every single trip, I rent different hotel for a new atmosphere. So the, uh, sometimes the old clients keep follow me and book every of my session treat because atmosphere and the room and the hotel is changed are different my suggestion for the useful hotel is a hotel resident it's a good space for photo shoot too they have separate bedroom living room kitchen area which we could use or off the area for a different process so we could create a series of a session when my clients arrive on a date I talk to them make friends we have some love together being a joker sometimes to make your work flow <laughs> it's my job right <laughs> After a few minutes, they will get comfortable with me and more relaxed. We start from the first outfit as a white long sleeve shirt, or a light color relaxed one with an easy pose. Make she feel comfortable as much as she can. It's important for our work. The most relaxed feelings the most beautiful for the shoots. I mean, once she feels relaxed inside, then she can do the difficult poses. And the most of professional looking poses is not easy for the body, right? <laughs> so she has to feel comfortable first. Her body needs to be curved looking she have to follow the curve and point in a sexy way and her arms never let it straight in the side of the body just like too natural it's not sexy it should be a little anchor her hand never closed never closed just look like in the photo if your hands closed it look like you have no finger right so the finger have to open and stay in line stay in order to pause for a photo shoot to get the best shot 100% of the times I look from her hair to her toes everything have to be in order everything have to be perfect because I want she get a nice shot and good memories with my work so totally what I am talking about and share, sharing with you guys today is all about make a date preparing choose the hotel for the shoot and how I make all of my clients who are not a models feeling convenient, comfortable and confident with me and come back for the next session again and again. I will have this podcast linked to my uh, YouTube channel too. It's called Budua Baya or Photographer Ya. It's the same channel but you guys can search for it. Also on my YouTube, I have all about my photography, behind the scene, and the resource, editing, beginner tutorial. Check it out. 
Today was not a long episode, and next week I will talk about how to start my workshop and how to do my exhibition show in Thailand, and you guys can do too. So today, bye for now. Have a good day to all of you.